Hey up everybody, how are we doing? Long time no see. Um, I do apologise, I've been extremely busy. Um, yeah, it's been uh, pretty intense the last sort of six, seven weeks, so uh, I do apologise for the uh, lack of content. So I thought I'd talk you through a quick fleet update and um, let you know what's going on. So I know many of you have been asking you about this. Um, yeah, uh, as I say, when I've got the odd hour, half an hour, uh, to go and get some stuff done, uh, I've concentrated on this. Um, it's pretty much 90% finished. Uh, we've replaced rear brake calipers, front brake calipers. Uh, we've serviced the engine, plugs, oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've replaced all of the power steering lines underneath the car because uh, they were leaking. So it's had some new ones of those. Uh, current jobs still to finish are two rear springs because they're both broken and um, they've took some filing, I can tell you that. Um, so they're now here in the boot ready to go and it'll be receiving a cam belt water pump and um, various other little bits and bobs and an MOT. Uh, hopefully it's going to be going in next week for that. I'm not going to be doing those myself. Um, I'd like to, but uh, time constraints, etc. Uh, so yeah, that's where we are with the uh, with the Kappa, and um, it's been nice, nice having it, and uh, it's been a nice car to work on. And um, I'll do a proper video on it when I'm um, when it's all complete, and uh, hopefully uh, one of my friends and subscribers is watching this because uh, I know he's quite interested in buying it. So. Um, Give me time, mate. You know where you are, and um, you'll be first on the list. So that's where we are with the Kappa. The 166, um, well, it's the 166. It never really puts a foot wrong. Using it every day. Um, I've done some quite big miles in it over the last uh, few weeks, um, traveling around with work and um, doing different bits and bobs. Uh, it has developed a slight problem, which I'm going to um, probably address tomorrow. And uh, I'll probably bring you along for filming for that. And because um, I'm going to be resting up, for want of a better word, over the next few days, because um, I tested positive uh, the other day. Uh, I've got no real symptoms. I can't smell much, and I've got a bit of a headache. But other than that, we're absolutely fine. So um, yeah, the 166, it's been absolutely fine. Uh, but the issue that it's developed is um, the thermostat's stuck open, and it's January. And I like to be comfortable because there's no heat, literally no heat, and the fuel economy has been absolutely appalling. Um, so yeah, we're going to be uh, changing the thermostat, which isn't too bad a job to do on these. And um, I'll bring you along and we'll film that, so that'll be uh, a nice decent video. Um, probably going to be doing some tyres soon, but uh, other than that, we're all good. And we have revelations because this is the first time in all the years that this car has been out in the winter, the Granada bless it, and um, the reason why it's come out early is um, I've got two weddings to do with it, two of my best friends are getting married over the next three weeks, and um, it's nice to even ask, can we have it as a wedding car? Of course you can. So it's out and you'll notice it's on the ramps, and um, in September last year, um, the centre section of the exhaust decided to um, start blowing. It's been on there a good while, so um, yes, during my period of isolation, I've had the new exhaust in the garage for about three months, so um, it's up on the ramps, and uh, yeah, I've just uh, completed finishing, fitting the exhaust on it this morning, and uh, doing a little bit of painting, etc. underneath to make it look nice, and uh, so yes, it's had two new downpipes, uh, a new centre section, uh, I know it looks like there's two, well, there's two silencer boxes there, and uh, they go into one and uh, over the back axle. Uh, that's a bit of a fiddle, I can tell you that, doing it on your back. But uh, it's in, it's sorted, and so I'm going to get it up and running in a bit, turn it around, because I've got the back box to still uh, rehang and stuff, because the back box is actually a jam speed stainless, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, So I'm going to get that put back on, do a bit more painting underneath just to keep on top of it. And um, yeah. It's all go, so I'm going to be putting this 
uh, yeah, tax it at the end of the month and um, use it for a wedding and uh, keep it clean underneath because this car has never ever been exposed to road salt and um, it's a shame to have to do it but uh, I'm not going to say no to uh, two of my best friends because I love them dearly. So that's where we are with the Granada. You'll have to forgive me because um, I'm doing this on my phone and um, I'm struggling with selfie mode at the minute so I'll talk to you whilst we're looking at the Granada. Now many have been asking, you know, I will say I've been asking myself this, where the F is the Alpha 90? Well, the Alpha 90 is still broken. Um, it's been a case with that car, never meet your heroes. Now, as much as I love that car, all the bits now have been sourced for the engine. And um, it's cost a staggering amount of money. And um, I've had a lot of help. And, um, you know, some bits haven't been charged for, some bits have. And uh, all the work that's going to be done, is, uh, that's going to be done machining-wise and fitting it, is also going to be done free of charge because um, it's a really good friend of mine that's doing the work on it. Now, a bit of story with it. I'll, um, well, here it goes. Obviously, you all know that uh, the engine failed just over 12 months ago. And um, the reason why the engine failed was the so-called specialist that I bought it off rebuilt the original engine to an OK standard. But he, on the bottom end of the engine, he didn't use a single gasket. He thought RTV silicon was the job. And in, 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 I suppose in, in, in retrospect, you can use RTV silicon on an engine, but you don't use it on parts that are like the sump, for instance. And what's actually happened with that is, over time, the um, silicon sealant, as it were, had swollen up and broken off inside of the sump and got picked up by the oil pump and starved the engine of oil. But that wasn't the main reason as to why the engine let go. Yes, it was one of the contributing factors, but on later inspection, both of the cylinder heads had been fitted with new valves, new camshafts, etc. But on an early 12-valve Busso engine, you're supposed to use phosphor bronze valve guides. And this guide fitted the later stainless steel ones in it, and... Um, not um, machine them correctly and therefore the heat uh, on the exhaust valve side made the valve swell up as everything does with heat and then the uh, several of the valves stuck in the uh, in the valve guides stuck open and we all know what knows when I will know what happens when a uh, valve sticks open and the pistons on its way up it's they're going to introduce each other aren't they and make a right mess now if you come with me, hopefully the 166 is open, I'll show you some of the extent of the damage. So give us a second. We'll go in the boot because I actually have a piston and a connecting rod out of the original engine. Let's go and have a look at this. Looks fairly okay, doesn't it? Nice and fine. Nice new piston, everything cool. And then you look at this side. Oh dear. And that is where the exhaust valve made contact, punched a hole in the piston. Two of them are like this. And um, the rest is history, as they say. So, what am I going to do about it? Well, it's going to be fixed. And um, it's not going to take overnight. Most of the parts are here for it. And um, I'm going to be doing the odd Saturday here and there on it. And uh, once it's finished, it's actually sold. Because, like I say, never meet your heroes. And in my case, it's turned out to be an absolute disaster. And knowing my look, excuse the state of the garage, I'm in the process of doing a load of decorating and having a new kitchen as well. So please, please excuse that. Anyway. Never meet your heroes, because as I say, in my case, it's uh, turned out to be a bit of a disaster. So, uh, it is going to be sold, and uh, hopefully it's going to be going out of the country, and, and you know, live on 
in the new owner's hands, as it were, because knowing my luck, and um, I haven't had much of it this year, to be fair, or last year, um, something else is going to go wrong with it, and I'm just going to end up, it'll just end up destroying me, because we all like our cars, and uh, if you get particularly attached to something, and if, you know, you'd want in that particular car for a long time, and it ends up in disaster, it kind of puts a mar on things, so... Uh, I've had to put my big boy trousers on and uh, kind of call a halt to it. You know, it'll be finished and it'll be a lovely car when it's done, but it's got to go to a new home. So, what have I replaced the 90 with? It has been replaced. And later on this afternoon, behind the 166, there'll be a delivery of another car. And hopefully... This one will be a hell of a lot better and, and probably more fun than the 90 because I've been wanting one of these for a while and more so this particular car that is going to be arriving shortly in this very space here um, we should have a lot of fun with and hopefully we can get some good content with it and um, there's a few of you know that, uh, that watch me know that I've already bought it so um, yeah thanks for staying stum but uh, if anybody wants to have a guess of what it is um it's green and it was built in ohio in the states so drop them down in the comments below let me know what you think i've bought and um i'll probably do an introductory video on it over the next couple of days so there we are quick fleet update and um just to check in and say hello and obviously pass on my apologies for not being about for a bit but uh work constraints and life and all that kind of stuff gets in the way of everybody from time to time so yeah big welcome to all my new subscribers as well and um a uh, big thank you to matt richardson joseph lloyd and uh, ben and annabelle at planet auto for uh, asking that i'm okay and a few mentions etc it all goes a long way and it's what we're all about you know i'm not a professional youtube channel i don't ever want to be but um it's nice to get out and meet people and have uh, have a chat with various people across the world and um, you know very humble to uh, you know bring my cars along for the ride and show you them all so um, thanks very much everybody and um, I'll see you in a couple of days when we're uh, putting a thermostat in the 166 I might do another video with the Granada and um, when the Lancia goes down for its work we'll have some more content with that so Thanks very much, everybody. Take care. All the best. I'll see you soon.